Hi, Raj. Good morning, you? sir. Good morning. Uh, It's so nice to see you again. Fine. <laughs> Thank you for asking. And how are you? I am good. Thank you for asking once again, and uh, it's uh, lovely seeing you back once again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sir, yeah. Sir. Okay. How, how has it been so far? Uh, it's going great. Excellent. And how is your tutoring going on? Uh, so tutoring is uh, going nice as well. Okay. Excellent. Wow. Okay, uh, Raj. Uh, so, since the last time that we met, uh, did you speak with any other tutor? Yeah, I uh, talk. I mean, I am currently talking to uh, five tutors a week. So uh, oh. that uh, that subscription is going. On. Excellent, excellent. And uh, have you seen any improvement in yourself, uh, in your expression, and also in your enthusiasm? Huh. It, uh, I mean, I feel a bit upper. Like uh, uh, it is said that uh, improvement is lifelong process, and we get uh, improvement day by day. So it's Absolutely. all about. I I feel that I am working. So of course there would be some improvement, and of course uh, you would say it, uh, by the end of uh, the session. in fact uh, not, by end, not by not by the end of the session i can say that right now that yes there i see a lot of improvement in your expression <laughs> yeah since the last time that we met right uh, last yeah. time last time you were very unexpressive right and yeah, yes, yeah. the smile was on your face and today it's so nice to see you smiling <laughs> yeah it's uh, all because of all of you that the confidence you all instill in me and yeah. other learners as well so it, no. it uh, helps us to improve of course great that is so wonderful to hear and it's very inspiring to hear that also thank you so much raj yeah so uh, raj have you gone through the session notes uh it's all about the human race and their future <laughs> right it's all about future but before that right uh, there is yeah. uh, an extempore topic okay so yeah. i would like you to choose any one of them uh, the first one is success or the second one is markets are uh, found not created i would like to go for the latter word markets okay. are found and not created but uh, i would completely disagree okay. i think the markets are not found it is created and the way it, it has been created especially in india look at any market and you would say that of course it has been created whether it about uh, study and all the way the coaching institutions have uh, evolved and uh, right. placed their i mean uh, they have established their name and they have placed uh, their foot in every part of uh, every corner of the india and right. uh, of course to some extent it is help helping but of course if we look at the larger picture it has somehow damaged as well because we talk a lot about education and when we see all this going on we only see that it all helping or creating only the environment of mugging up things and uh, clearing your exam so all focus on uh, I, i mean all focus on examination and how right. to crack exam and not to evolve as a person not to right. evolve that uh, the, how can you grow and that uh, help the humanity to grow and all right so that absolutely. evolution is missing of course okay absolutely and uh, and similarly we can uh, See in any field, like if I talk about cricket, like mm -hmm. how the cricket was uh, has evolved from Test cricket to one day, and then the advent of IPL, the market right. was created in such a big way that uh, like today, cricket is not only about cricket, but it's also about uh, the glamour and all, and right. how everything affects. Uh, and of course, it um, but in some way it is helping. I mean, it has. Uh, boosted our economy as well it has boosted the incomes of uh, players as well but of course in the other context if we see 
we will have to focus on test cricket also. Right. Absolutely right, right. Uh, wonderful thinking, I would say, right. And uh, yes, you're absolutely right that these days uh, children are more prepared for the rat race and the competition, right. And uh, right. I personally feel that uh, children should also be prepared for the upcoming pressure and also you know, their personality should be developed in such a way that people should be able to handle this pressure and stress because these days society... Yeah has a lot of pressure and stress and especially this uh, competitive edge that we talk about and this rat rates that we talk about, right? That is going right. on for materialistic things. The rat race for a good job, the race for a big car, the race for a big house, right? Uh, this yeah, race that is going on, it adversely affects people, right? And many a times, if you see people go into depression as well, because they cannot achieve what their neighbor has achieved. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right? yes. Yeah. And so, uh, I would like to add, sorry, you were, you were going to yeah, continue, continue. I mean, I would like to add one more thing that if you are mm -hmm. aware about the CUAT, you must have heard. Uh, right. the, the score of CUAT and the pattern that was said, it's right. all about of course, again, multinational, uh, sorry, multi choice questions and answer, and on the basis of that, getting right. admission. So, of course, it has helped some state level students who were right. earlier out of race now have got their admissions in DU and other universities. Right. So, it's good. But, of course, if we look at the bigger picture, it is not going to change much because the pressure is high only in that way. I mean, the Absolutely. mugging of things and uh, inst uh, apart from preparing for 12th exams, uh, students are all preparing for COET as well. Absolutely right. And there is added pressure on them and added burden on them, right? Okay, right. Uh, very good. Uh, very good, Raj. And uh, you spoke really well. Uh, so let's get on with the session. Okay, so I'll just be asking you a few questions and all you need to do is just freely answer them, okay? Yeah, of course. Okay, just try to express your own feelings there and try to express your own point of views. You do not worry about being right or wrong, whether your point of view is right or whether your point of view is wrong. Just speak. Yeah, okay? perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Excellent. So uh, how do you envision our future? Like if we see today, uh, yes, uh, every person has an individual uh, future planning, right? But as human beings, uh, as a whole, right uh, how do you think where do you think we are going and in future what do you think is going to happen to the human race as a whole so uh, i would like to talk about the past as well i mean the way okay. we have we were and the way we have grown so all i see that earlier people were more able to enjoy sure. their village life as well but nowadays village i mean have been being turned into cities. That's good, right. of course, for uh, the purpose of development and growth. It is definitely good. But uh, what we have changed into, I mean, the way we were talking about the rat race and the rat race of being on top or being rich or being affluent, uh, I mean, having all sorts of facilities. Right. But uh, to some extent, so many people are doing uh, another extent to achieving that and right. that is what uh, is my problem i mean that is what i feel i i wonder sometimes that how can people behave like this okay. i mean until the time yeah. you are working hard on your own, right? yes till the time you are working hard on your own it's good but the moment you start cheating others i mean right. going to any extent like we saw in corona so many people right were going to any extent uh, selling any cylinder in name of gas cylinder to make money and right. all those things are happening and we are moving towards that so i feel that our future in some extent it, it is not bright more, more people i mean people are more prone to these things eh, because we are calling materialistic life so right. in somewhat we are doing good but the, those elements are there and that is aggravating day by day. So that is my worry. Okay. And if I, if I talk about the general, in general, right. those people who are common and who are enjoying their life, even they, instead of 
or uh, in spite of sorry instead of uh, enjoying right. i mean they are uh, more focused on collecting things so right. like our neighbors has this so i need to need this as well i mean and the grid is never going to end today we, if someone has honda safety they will be looking for right. it all day and then bmw and then this is, this is the life only and in this race people are people are unable to enjoy it, unable to value their relationship with their friends and families neighbors all these right. things are missing day by day that's yeah I'm absolutely saying. right raj right and you yeah, absolutely right and i agree with you completely i also would like to add here that uh, okay. yes there are some people who are least bothered about materialistic things right and yeah. however uh, through social pressure and through peer pressure they are also pushed towards this uh, quick sand of materialism right right uh, yeah and so and one more are, thing like uh, yeah. if we if we talk about the education again Right. so we are focused in that we only we uh, we i mean train our children to read hard or to study hard only to achieve some post or something not to grow as a human being or uh, to reach a height in your life so right. that you can contribute to society but uh, they are i mean they are treated or they are judged on the basis of what post they are getting okay you have become ceo what salary 12 lakh right. or crore so only these things are very uh, dangerous i mean they, they, we should not we should stop doing all this or evaluating our children on this basis absolutely right and uh, the first question as you say the first question that people ask you when you start working it's uh, they don't ask you whether you are happy with the job they ask you what salary are you getting what package are you getting right yeah 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 <laughs> so that's the first question that we ask yes okay great and if someone is doing his own thing then people come up with their own suggestions that there is no security in this you should go in for a government job you should get a government job Right. Yeah, of course. That's how people question. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, in future, what kind of things do you imagine will happen with the human race? Uh, I mean, I didn't get the question. Okay. Uh, the context of the question. Yeah. I'll I'll explain to you. In the future, what kind of things do you think or do you imagine? can happen with the human race i mean uh, it's uh, the future will come at its own pace and the things we have discussed we are growing in that way so of course everything will take care of itself the scientists are there to invent us something but of course we need to be more careful about this climate change and global warming and in environmental uh, care like if we are not going, going to take care of this more more dangerous disease will come uh, in our society and uh, will affect us uh, will affect a human life for sure right okay that was great okay uh, let's let's go on with the session the next question would be uh, what are the three things that uh, you think right will be drastically different in the future The, uh, the first thing of course like we talked uh, uh, the weather the climate change and all right uh, unless we are going to take care of this it is going to harm us badly okay. and uh, of course the way we treat like uh, we are unable to take care of our uh, i think we are able to uh, take care of till linus on our right. on our own we, right. we clear our house but we don't know we do not clear the out uh, i mean the courtyard of our, our house it's like uh, the workers assigned by the government or like we call municipality workers will do it's not our right. job right with so, municipal uh, yeah so the way okay they, this this should change of course okay. and we should be more uh, concerned about our environment of course one thing 
the another thing that uh, the business, the way we have transformed in the commercialization and commercialization of everything like the education, health, or other sectors as well, we need to uh, get a balance of that. Unless we create a balance in that, uh, it is going to aggravate more and more. And uh, it would be harmful for the lower section of society for sure. Right, the so lower strata. Yeah. So okay. uh, these two things that I can imagine. Okay. And, uh, and of course, like uh, if I talk about the positive side, so uh, the way the scientists are working and the way the innovations uh, mm -hmm. has been some uh, has been, I mean, advent in our society. We are going to right. uh, take or enjoy more of that. We are going to invent more, more and more that would make our life easier in terms of uh, doing things uh, with machinery and robot and all that. Right, and artificial intelligence also is coming up now. So probably in the future, there will be a lot more dependence on artificial intelligence, right? Right, right. Okay, excellent. Good, right? Are you speaking really well? And that's really nice. You are expressing yourself. Wonderful. Okay, uh, yes, I would say that, yes, smile a bit more. <laughs> yes, I know these are, yeah. these are, these are grave uh, severities that the human race uh, needs to concentrate yeah. on. But then life is too short. Let us not concentrate <laughs> on these. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's concentrate on what we have today, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, Okay, and uh, according to you, what are some of the things that will remain the same in future? They will not change at uh, all. I, I can't be sure of this, but of okay. course, there are some certain relationship that is going to be same uh, okay. in the next 100 or 200 years, especially the villages, of course, and the way we are, we are growing. Okay. I mean, one side we are... Uh, thinking about bullet train and all and the other yeah. side people are dying out of hunger right. so this is not going to change it will remain even after 100 years the one side right. people will be affluent the other side people will be so poor that they are begging or they are uh, deprived of even the basic needs right the, the two extremes will always exist right yeah okay Okay, anything uh, else that comes to mind? No, uh, I can't collect anything more on this. Okay, uh, what I personally feel, what I personally feel is that yeah. uh, sooner or later, everyone is going to end up in villages once again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, of course, uh, uh, we can think that way as well. I mean, at right. least after a certain point of time, for example, right. if somebody is working hard and creating his own uh, niche and all with uh, right. all sorts of employment. So the moment after they retire, they would look right. behind and they would go to village. After retirement, they would uh, start going to their village and live peacefully. So yeah, uh, that can right. be a problem. Because uh, that's what even I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, that's what even I'm doing. Even I'm planning to go back to my village. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen okay. enough of life and that's it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, what is that one thing that you really wish for our collective future of humanity? The, the one thing that I wish is uh, so this disparity should not be there. We, we need okay. to uh, not only shrink in it, I mean, mm -hmm. we, we need to eradicate it. There we need to no eliminate it. Yeah. Okay. yeah, eradicate it wholly. There should okay. be no disparity. Uh, at least the, uh, the disparity would be there. I mean, the difference would be there for sure. But at right. least the poorest person should be, uh, have should have enough of uh, upper uh, basic facilities that uh, right. he is able to eat and uh, uh, able to get all sorts of the basic facilities, including education, health, transportation. Okay. Uh, so if we reach to that point, uh, I mean that is the one thing that I want to look. Okay. Uh, I want to uh, I want to experience that in my life. Okay. Wow. Uh, 
which seems uh, impossible though. <laughs> uh, everything is possible. Uh, anything is possible. Anything can happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that is a wonderful thought. And I would say that, uh, yes, you also have a social cause in mind, right? Yeah. So uh, according to you, uh, sorry, I'm going off session. Uh, according to you, how do you think we can uh, overcome this disparity? So uh, for that, uh, we will have to work collectively. I mean, okay. the way we help, we, we might have experienced in Corona, people were helping in their neighborhood, like right. they, in their locality, they were helping. Even I have mm -hmm. done that okay. along with a few of my friends. Right. So yes, we, we need to see the bigger picture of that. So mm -hmm. there, of course, there is enough, in, enough money in our country. Right. All the things that is need to be done. For example, if government is going to launch any project or see anything, so mm -hmm. instead of, uh, I mean, instead of working on all the, the stuff that can be uh, kept on abeyance, right. so the government should do that. And first, they should take care that uh, they, there should be no beggar in our city. Right. So for that purpose, there would be a, a house all beggars should uh, get there and live there. We will arrange something for them. And simultaneously, we will arrange something for those who are capable of working, they can work as well. So right. first thing that we are uh, taking them out of their uh, begging, and then we are allowing them some employment or other. So there is enough op opportunity as well. So oh. if we think that way, we can, of course, reach to a level where nobody would be begging or nobody would be poor enough to die out of hunger or die right. out of, uh, I mean, with a uh, clothless. We see right. some uh, some people are, die, I mean, forced to live uh, on the footpath uh, even in the winter and they die because of the lack of uh, those uh, blankets on. all. Right. So if we can, we can do that. That is a first possible thing. The only mentality needed along with, uh, along with the government, the people of uh, the country as well. Like everybody will give their hand for this. Right. Everyone needs to put in a helping hand, right? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Uh, so Raj, don't you think that in India, uh, there are so many people who are just plain lazy <laughs> who don't want to do anything, right? Even uh, if, if they are begging, they are doing that because that's the easy way out, right? Yeah, and of course. That is, uh, even if I you mean, give them employment, they do not take the employment because begging uh, is easy for them. And yes, begging also gives them, it's a very lucrative business, I would say. Yes, of course. Uh, I mean, uh, the way I have thought all this, so I right. think this as well, that if someone is getting something out of begging, why would mm -hmm. he do anything else? Right. So only those who are unable to do anything else and out of compulsion, they are begging. They will okay. try to uh, swift, try to shift to this and they will, I mean, uh, accept it. Right. Rehabilitate them, right? Yeah. They will definitely accept it uh, happily. But others would not agree to this. So, of course, that is why I told that the government will have a hand here. Because right. if we are making a rule that, okay, begging is not allowed. We are right. giving you uh, room to stay. We are giving you some work to, uh, I mean, employment as well. Whether right. on a daily basis or something else. So, if we are doing it, you have to do it. Uh, if you are right. unable to do, we will have to find other ways of doing it. But those who are able to do will have to do. You are not going to beg simply and get things easily. Easily, right? Okay. Very good, Raj. That was wonderful. Okay. <laughs> okay. So according to you, what is uh, the one thing that we should uh, collectively uh, avoid in the future? Uh, I mean, uh, collectively avoid like being lazy uh, or being collectively as, as human beings. Now, 
we are going back to the session again. <laughs> we are going into the future. So, yeah. uh, like we said, uh, yeah, collectively, uh, what do you think we should avoid uh, in future so that we can have better lives and so that we can live longer? I mean, all the things we talk, I can only collect that right now. That we we would have to avoid these habits, like okay. if we if we talked about education. So we would mm -hmm. have we will have to avoid the habit of forcing our children uh, for getting that 99 percent or uh, clearing exam. Instead of that, we would allow them to explore their way. Like if right. if they are reading, just read. If you like literature, read whatever you want to read, and. Uh, form your own ideas out of that. Right. And uh, of course, if we talk about environment, we will have uh, we will have to avoid all those habits which are forcing, I mean, which are forcing uh, our environment to get dirty day by day. Right. Like, which, are for, like, uh, which are deteriorating the quality of our environment, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we will okay. have to avoid all these uh, habits for sure to uh, live better. Okay. Right. Very good, right? Uh, let me just give you a feedback before this uh, session comes to an end, right? Yeah. We have around about two minutes. Uh, Raj, you're speaking really well, okay? And uh, since the last time that we met, yes, there seems to be much more heart into your speech, right? Like last time it was pretty bland. Uh, and this time that you're speaking, you're speaking really well. And yeah, you're expressing yourself completely. And that is a wonderful thing to do, okay? Right. Yeah. Uh, but one thing I noticed today is that today you are thinking too much. Uh, last time you were not thinking that much. <laughs> Why? So? Why do I have that feeling? Uh, I don't. I mean, I can't think. I have been told this by almost all the tutors that I feel. I mean, the fluency is not coming only because while speaking, it seems like I'm thinking about the next. Uh, topic right. or the next line I'm about to take. Right. And, uh, uh, I'm unable to work on this. I mean, I, I don't get uh, what to, how to work on okay. this. I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you exactly how to work on it. Okay. Uh, basically, English or any language, it works on four pillars, right? It works yeah. on four pillars. Uh, the first pillar is uh, speaking. The second pillar is listening. The third pillar is writing. And the fourth pillar is reading. Okay. Yeah. Now, if any one of these pillars is missing, uh, you will inevitably be missing out on your fluency. Right? Yeah. So, uh, I'll give you a very simple trick of how to practice your writing and reading. You don't have to do anything out of the box. Right? Uh, just make a small notebook or a small diary. And at the end of the day, just take out five minutes. Okay? Take out five minutes uh, of your day. And uh, just sit down and write whatever you feel and whatever you have done throughout the day. Just write it down. 